Moving on, civil societies have a role to play in ensuring the application of uh, democratic procedures and ensuring a balanced society. According to Darren Deco, a professor at the University of Massachusetts, uh, democracy is nothing without uh, civil society and the media as they create a balancing power to the power of the state. At a two-day conference, uh, media stakeholders and civil societies from across uh, 10 countries and the continent strategized on how to deepen democracy in Africa. They also spoke on election security and the importance of uh, creating opportunities for engagement of government at all levels. Some uh, examples uh, also on the African continent that if the technology is not used in the correct way, that it can actually be destructive to trust and uh, uh, together in combination with uh, disinformation um, can actually uh, um, uh, you know, uh, shake the foundations of democracy. The thing that I get from this uh, conference, uh, first of all, is uh, the opportunity that they provide us to stay in touch and uh, build the uh, the network in democracy uh, process in Africa, but also is all uh, experiences and techniques that they shared with us, especially Kenyan IBC and the other experts from Nigeria, from the US, and uh, the dynamic and the energy of all participants uh, related to the, the, the topics developing and uh, the next step that uh, all the countries um, design from this uh, conference those are kind of um, add value that i'm getting from this uh, session so the state department and the u.s government is supporting this because these are the people who are going to ensure the democratic transitions take place in a peaceful way and warning so if there's going to be election violence or problems between two parts of a community the civil society organizations and the people who live in those parts of, of a specific country are going to be able to react and to, to keep things peaceful. And they've really raised a range of issues, but I think some of the most important ones um, that have been raised have included areas such as uh, the capacity to be able to monitor um, uh, online harms or social media effectively. Others have raised issues around uh, overly restrictive uh, legal frameworks. Um, and others have raised um, issues of political will. And so I think a, a real range of concerns have been raised, and I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how these organizations can collaborate to address some of these challenges over the coming months and years. For me, this was important considering the, um, the receding of democracy in Africa the last 10 years, and more importantly, um, the youth, the young people who are aging to have good governance. So I felt that if we could get a project that will address issues of election, governance, democracy, and more importantly, looking at inclusivity and deepening how elections are conducted in Africa, it, it will be something that um, the U.S. government will be. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.